Hey, it's Jordan here and welcome back to the channel. So today we are revisiting a house that I did maybe over a year ago. Now, if you have been following me for a while, you'll recognize this house. And if you haven't seen it, you may have seen it on another person's channel from Ontario. Now, this place is referred to as the Shining House, the Shining Mansion, or the Twin Bed House, where um, they have the really cool retro twin bed house and it's wallpapered from um, the ceiling to all the four walls and with a cool shag carpet. Um, a lot of a lot of things have happened to this house over the last year and I really like this house a lot so I wanted to revisit it. So I feel actually filmed it quite some time ago and I actually lost my um, intro to this house when I lost a lot of my other clips from my other videos. So I really hope you enjoy this video and um, of course let me know what you think at the end of this video and I hope you enjoy it. Starting off in this massive family room. Now maybe you have seen other people's videos from this place and it just it really bothers me how vandalized this place has got. So as you can see the wet bar is pretty damaged, all the glass is broken. Somehow the mirrors are not smashed. So this place has definitely got a lot more water damage since I was here. But you have a big massive fireplace and the whole like mantle here was all glass. Real fireplace. So you can see over here on the carpet and or even on the wall over here, even up there, the amount of water damage this place is getting. This actually belongs upstairs, so I always thought it was kind of odd that someone brought it down here. So they have the stereo system. I'm assuming that um, maybe, I don't know, I always thought maybe these were speakers. Maybe not. It kind of does, it kind of does look like it actually from a bit, from a bit far. So originally the couch was over here. More glass. You have some rain glass that people have been breaking off. Yeah, I don't really understand the whole point of coming to these houses and breaking them. So next is the kitchen. So you do have a pool. And it's a fairly big sized kitchen. A lot of cupboard space, you got your dishwasher, and you got your stove top there. I swear all of these very expensive houses that I have been inside, they always have Gen Air. And I didn't realize like Gen Air was like a super like high-end appliance company until I started doing more exploring. But yeah, definitely some water damage happening in the kitchen. I kind of do like this wraparound light that kind of goes like all the way around. So I'm here with some friends who have never been to this place. So we're gonna go into the laundry room and you can check out this funky wallpaper even the light switch cover has the wallpaper on it if uh, if I can figure out how to do it I'd like to link my old photo or not photo uh, video so you can maybe watch that one before this one but 
This house has always been kind of like a favorite of mine. It's really cool. So this is the formal dining room with these big, massive mirrors. And this is something that I would do at work. So it always interests me. The wallpaper in this room, well, it's kind of, no, actually, it's kind of getting moldy, I think, it looks. It's very, it's like, I don't know, it's such a weird color. It's like blue, and then there's like white splatters on it. Now, the foyer in the main entrance actually has some pretty cool wallpaper on it, though. So the railing and the spindles are missing from the staircase. The staircase was actually really cool and people had to ruin it. Then you kind of have like a den area with built in real fireplace. This actually was like granite. Um, it was a granite far fireplace, but Someone obviously took that and then just decided to destroy it. But yeah, this is very weird, weird wallpaper in this room. So here we got the bathroom. It has a very cool, like, smoky mirror. It's very odd. And the sink is gone. Oh, even, like, the... I don't know, for some reason, I never paid attention to the ceiling, but it has, like, a matching smoky... Um, I don't even know. It's not paint. Looks kind of like a, like a, I don't know, some sort of like vinyl cover or something. But then the wallpaper in here is pretty, pretty cool. I don't even know what those even are. But I do like how every room kind of has this different look to it. So this is the den. Very, it's very woody in here. So this door just leads you out to the backyard. And that's it for the main floor. So let's go check out the upstairs. So upstairs we go and we're going to check out the main bathroom. Not the ensuite bathroom, but the main bathroom on this floor. So, broken mirrors, got some clothing. Like I don't get like what people do in this house, I really don't. So you have a bidet and toilet. The shower is nothing fancy. The light fixture is kind of cool though actually. And over here, just got closet. So master bedroom, I was going to say it's in pretty decent shape, but uh, yeah, never mind. So yeah, these windows are super old. These are like original. Kind of interesting. 
I'm not sure if I opened these in my first video or not. And then this room has an intercom. I don't think the other bedrooms have them or not. I'm not sure. Different wallpaper in here compared to just a few feet away in the bedroom. So here is the ensuite. Giant mirror, well, a couple mirrors actually. Vanity kit, plaque removers. Got basically like a first aid kit, kind of just hanging out in here. So this is the ensuite. Pretty big bath. Now on to the next bedroom. Orange carpet. Interesting color scheme for these uh, storage units. Maybe that's a pull-out couch. I'm not really sure. Never actually sat on it or checked it out, but don't really want to. So this is the upstairs. It's really, <laughs> uh, it's really stupid that someone stole the uh, railing and spindles. So a lot of water damage coming down on this side. As you can see, all the drywall just falling apart. So the wallpaper in here is like, got some like fruit and flowers. Big sliding glass mirror doors. Now of course, I had to save the best bedroom for last. And sadly, it is getting pretty destroyed in here, excuse me. It's really unfortunate. But somehow no one has managed to like do anything to these beds, which is great. I don't even know what that is, but <clears throat> smash light bulbs, but somehow nothing has happened to the beds. So the downstairs had the coolest rec room and everything's just so destroyed down here. Like it's awful. Closet doors, I got chairs broken. Oh, there's all the spindles and railing. Chairs. Wow. Huh, so what do you got over here? Oh, broke the TV. You got a really old uh, Hoover floor polisher. Oh my God, like look how old that is. So this whole entire wall is all mirrors, which I thought was super cool. It was even cooler when this wasn't destroyed and the power down here worked. Oh, I got some mold happening on the ceiling here. I wondered if this fireplace was actually, oh, actually was a real fireplace. 
So here's a cool looking couch. I kind of call it like the toothpaste toothpaste couch. I don't remember where that was before. Maybe over here. I don't know. Uh, so that's it for this room down here. Let's go check out the other rooms down here. You got a closet with some old shoes and some boots. This is just the furnace room. Yeah. Nothing in there. So you have this bathroom. The guy with funky wallpaper, the toilet that's smashed. Got a stand and sh stand up shower with soap and cool like funky um, shower curtain with uh, flamingos on it. That's actually kind of cool. So this was another bedroom, maybe for our visitors or something. Just kind of randomly just sitting there. And I think there's just one more room down here to show you. I'm not sure. I still haven't figured out what room this would have been. I don't think that it would have been like a rec room or anything. Just because they had one, you know. But one that we were just in. But this is a big, huge storage area. And like... I know it may be hard to see, but it gets a pretty big space down here. You have a foosball table. Not foosball. Um, table tennis. Someone broke the glass in this table. I mean... Not surprised. But yeah, nothing left in this room. Just wanted to show you it. I wonder if the... No, there's no way. I don't think the power is actually like on. I mean, you could try, but... Yeah, I have no idea. Anyways, so that wraps it up for the uh, $6 million retro 60s mansion. So hopefully you enjoyed it. So I hope that you enjoyed that video and you could subscribe to me if you haven't already. And you can follow me on social media at Little Taddy and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.